For the first time in centuries, researchers have uncovered what's believed to be Jesus' tomb inside the Church of the Holy Sepulcher. Chris Mitchell takes us to the heart of Jerusalem's old city, where a major renovation is underway. This National Geographic video shows workmen uncovering the marble slab over the tomb on October 26th. As the video says, the modest tomb has never before been photographed, and no drawings exist. It reported conservationists were surprised to find something their instruments didn't detect, a layer of debris beneath the marble cover. Then underneath the debris, they found another marble slab with a cross carved into its surface. Then they saw the original burial bed. Emperor Constantine ordered the church built in the fourth century. His mother, Queen Helena, came here to discover the tomb where Jesus was buried. The Roman Emperor Hadrian in the second century built a temple here to the goddess Aphrodite. The historian Eusebius said he did it to cover the tomb where Jesus was buried. The examination of the tomb is part of a restoration project. Workers are preparing the structure known as the edicule, which means little house. It was built to protect the tomb. The last repair work done on the edicule took place over 200 years ago. Professor Antonio Marapulu leads the restoration and told CBN News earlier this year about the project. We will um, remove the marble slabs, the stone slabs. Uh, we will inject grouts to homogenize the complex structure, which is the holy rock. That means that uh, we develop a unified structure, that all the layers will behave structurally as one. And upon this, after um, repairing uh, with new compatible and performing mortars and concrete, we will readjust the stone slabs with titanium bolts. For the workers, it's more than a job. Vesilio Cephalis is a Greek civil engineer. So I'm very excited because I'm a Christian Orthodox and I am working in Greece in uh, monuments like this. But uh, this is a specialized project, very specialized project. I don't believe that I can go to something bigger than this. Each one of us in front of the Holy Tomb uh, feels the, uh, the values of the Holy Tomb. And the Holy Tomb is the most alive place in the world. It gives the message of resurrection. National Geographic plans to show more of its footage this month on its Explorer channel. The restoration should be completed sometime next year. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre,